as long as I can remember. When I was very, very young, probably about eight years old, I used to watch the trains come from Chrysler and I always remember the Valiants that were on it and knowing that mum and dad helped make those. So my affiliation with Chrysler and the automotive industry started very early. I started my apprenticeship in 1985 and finished that. My brother followed on with an apprenticeship here as well. Um, my mum and dad worked in the press shop and in cut and sew. So basically the whole family that could work was working here. I've been an industrial sewing machinist for about 35 years. The difference back then is you did one job and one job only and the way the plant was set up was totally different to what it is now. And we'd been one long line with a fan up one end, a fan up the other, and in, this is in summer when it's hot, you'd have one big bucket of ice at each end and that was our cooling conditions. I started here in 74, now it's what, 2008, you know, and you're watching it close down. has been on the wall for quite some time but personally myself I just thought that that day would never come and I was hoping that day would never come. It's been my home you know I, like I said I had my husband here I've had my sister here so my whole family has actually worked at Mitsubishi Motors. My dad was in the press shop and he'd been there for 20 odd years already and I walked into the plant it was very grey it was Chrysler back then you were assigned a job and that was your job. You know, if you were there for, for three days or three years, that was your job. And of course that caused a lot of uh, fatigue and injury with workers. They'd go off because they'd wear out shoulders or legs or backs, whatever the case may be, because you know, every job is a bit different. And I guess uh, through, through the years when Mitsubishi took over and, and we got a bit smarter and we're more safety conscious, we've decided that you know, if the people could rotate, it would be a good thing. In every given day, someone would do four jobs. I started back in 1976 uh, as an apprentice, straight out of school. And, uh, that was Chrysler's in those days, before Mitsubishi took over. So that was a, an interesting time. Uh, Chrysler's uh, uh, had a strong American influence in here, obviously. And uh, it was a, uh, a company that was going through turmoil even at that stage, I suppose. A few times a week we would have some sort of meeting to discuss a union dispute with management. And it was very schedule orientated back then. You know, they, they wanted 260 units a day, and they didn't care how they got it. Back in the day of Chrysler, the essence was to keep that production line going at all costs. That may have worked back then, but Mitsubishi uh, brought to Australia the Japanese philosophy. It was to get quality as our number one priority, and they bought a lounge room feeling about a car. With the Japanese brands coming into Australia, very much came all the niceties that you want to have in the car the more plush seating, the velour inserts, the automatic shifting with four speeds as opposed to three speeds, the push button radio systems, the cassette players, the heaters, and then the advent of air conditioning. So I feel that the Japanese brands brought that into the Australian market and of course the Holdens and the Fords copied it. Started in February of 91. I've always been in the press shop or stamping. The press shop itself was on three shifts, seven days a week. You had the option to do three hours extra into day shift if you wanted it. And then even as recently as just over two years ago, on the new line we're doing two shifts of 11 hours, seven days a week. And then uh, 
the 380 was released in, I think it was September. We were seven days a week leading all the way up to Christmas when we come back from the holidays. No more overtime, the car hadn't been selling. Then the second shift stopped us straight away as well. It was so quick that we'd gone from seven days, two shifts of 11 hours to one shift and eight hours in a twinkling like that.